time for a swim at the beach. And now we're going to go to the library. Now we're going to go to the library, take some books back and get some more. Let's start with five and go from there, yeah? I'll just be over in the cookbook. I just finished the eye of the sheep it's fantastic it's not a happy book <laughs> do not use this book to make you feel good about the world because it's not gonna happen it's gonna make you terribly sad but it's amazing because of its writing um, I gave you yeah I think I said oh, boys Um, this is told from Jimmy's perspective and Jimmy's just a, a kid who needs protecting. He needs love. He needs people who understand him. And unfortunately for Jimmy, that all moves away one by one. And he battles through his own limitations in order to be able to handle what's happening to him this all sounds really cryptic but i can't tell you what happens obviously it's tragic it's sad it's devastating it tells a story of an abused woman it tells the story of an alcoholic father it tells the story of his brother who just can't handle it and has to run away it tells the story of the foster system it tells the story of an uncle who does everything he can to help. It's just this great drama, really. No, it's not great. It's just a beautifully woven story that's terribly sad. But her writing is amazing. I've read The Choke by Sophie Laguna, which is her latest one. And it's also from a child's perspective. And I saw her speak about um, the choke at the Brisbane Writers' Festival. And um, she's also an author of children's books. So she said that for some reason she wants to be able to speak on a child's behalf. And that's where this is all coming from. She's terribly intelligent and terribly eccentric and fun and... She's great. Her writing is just superb. If you can get your hands on this book, I would do it. She's a fantastic Australian author. I've read two of her books and both are five stars for me. I would just highly recommend this. But if you're feeling a bit down, don't pick it up. It's not a good idea. Anyway, done. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Please, please do yourself a favour and read either The Eye of the Sheep or The Choke by Sophie Laguna. You won't regret it. You won't. Okay, time to wrangle my children. I just went to do a Lucky Diff and pick a new book, but then I forgot that I'm buddy reading something. I'm buddy reading Atlas Shrugged by Anne. How, how do we say that name? Somebody help me out. My sister and I read books together and she, it was her turn to pick and she picked this book. <laughs> it's a thousand and something pages. 
she has read it before but she wanted to read it again and wanted to read it with someone else so we're not going to push ourselves and we're just going to read a couple of chapters at a time so yeah I might get a start and do these two chapters and get this done wish me luck it's huge okay gotta pick my next book Patty Cook what we got what we got what we got H is for Hawk. I want to read that one. This beautiful book. It's called Hawk. <laughs> I wanted to read Piper this. Piper Hey. <laughs> I wanted to read this forever. So it's a gorgeous edition too. And the mum really wanted to read this. Yeah. I just did my Goodreads thing and I've got eight books to read to reach my goal of 80 books for the year in however many days I don't even know what the date is in 18 days I've got to read eight books so if I read a book every couple of days I can do it and the Christmas is thrown in there I don't know Mom, Marie's I want to We're play ready. cricket We're ready. but I just want to read my book this is my attempt at making that altered book reading journal. So I've got my book. I'm slowly ripping out pages to try and make it not so thick. Step one. Step two is finding some pretty paper that you want to put in so I'm going to find the pretty paper and then I need to fold it to be the same size as the pages in here okay do that oh I like that By no means is it finished, but it's getting pretty chunky already, but that's cool. Um, so I just created different pages in here, um, just with glue and paper really. This is going to be my reading reflections journal where I write down all of the things I think when I read each book, anything I want to explore more of any rabbit holes I feel the need to go down, any um, things that the book talks about that I want to investigate and um, that I want to learn more about, which happens often for me. Um, yeah, so obviously on the pages with writing, I'll paint on them or um, stick something over the top for my thoughts, but yeah. This is just a start, and then as I um, go through it, I guess I'll add more, but yeah, I'm really excited that I took the time to do that. That makes me happy. So yes, my reading reflections journal is done. Um, I might sit down after I've made dinner and stuff and get the other journal that I wanted to do, this one, with all the stats and things. So I make a start on doing that one too. Yay, nice creative afternoon. Oh.
it's been a big day. I'm closing out the vlog in this terrible light because I'm on the couch. I just got the kids to bed. It's just, it's been a huge day. Danny's away at the moment just for the night to finish off some stuff and I find that really hard. I don't like it when he goes away. The kids don't like it when he goes away. So, um, but we had a great day despite all that. We swam in the ocean. I finished a really great book. I did some creative stuff with the journal thing. And we spent the day together, which is really lucky. But I'm exhausted. I'm going to watch Trashy TV. I'm not going to read anything else tonight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.